finish mower, flail mower, bush hog, what are the differences and which one do you need for your property or your projects? Today, I'm gonna go over all that. Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg, and today I want to go over the details, the differences, and the functions between the finished mower, the flail mower, and the bush hog. I'm going to start off with probably the most common on the back of a tractor, which is a bush hog. And you know, this is probably one of the top three most common implements we'll sell for a tractor. So I have a video out there, how to use a bush hog and everything like that. And what is a bush hog? A bush hog is there for clearing property, maintaining pastures or acres of ground. And it's really basically designed to be as simple as possible and a very just heavy duty, robust, brutal machine. There's no pretty lines, there's nothing fine to it. It's there to chop down material that's standing up real tall. You let your grass overgrow in your pasture and you wanna cut it two or three years, or you're clearing a property that's just been overgrown. That's what a bush hog is designed for. If you look underneath of a bush hog, again, very simple, very basic. There's not much going under here. We've got this centerpiece, which is called a stump jumper. So if you hit a stump with it, it's gonna kind of push the whole uh, bush hog up and over it so it doesn't damage it. It also kind of protects your gearbox uh, shaft coming out from the top. And then you have two very large, simple, heavy duty blades here. These are very dull on the ends. It's there to design to whack through material. It's gonna hit that sapling, it's gonna hit that tall grass, that brush, that briar, um, that kind of stuff. It's just gonna not really slice through it, it's gonna knock it down or cut it off at the base. It's not designed for grass or, grass or finish mowing or anything like that. So two simple, basic, heavy duty blades just sitting there and spinning and that's all they're doing. Not much to go wrong underneath here, not much to go wrong on the top, and it's very affordable and expensive. We're gonna to go to the next one, which is the uh, finish mower, a grooming mower, all these kind of things. It basically is like the mower deck off of a riding tractor or a zero turn or anything like that. Most of the time these days, they come as a rear discharge where all your grass clippings and everything come out the rear. That's why it's open on the back instead of a side discharge to it. But if we look underneath, it honestly looks a lot like a zero turn or a riding mower mower deck. You have your three blades. These are sharper blades. This is designed exactly just for grass. You have your baffling underneath to kind of direct the flow of the grass. Um, it's gonna allow the air to kind of pick up at the front. It's gonna pick up, uh, you know, suction up the grass so it cuts it at the base, and then it discharges it out the rear. Um, so you have a lot more moving parts. You have three spindles now. You've got extra belts to it. You've got extra blades to it. So it costs a little bit more, but it's there perfectly for designed and only designed for cutting grass. You're not cutting pastures with this. You're not cutting fields or with it or clearing. This is a grass only machine. Now, what if you kind of want to do both? This is where the fun of the video comes. So what if you want to do both? What if you have those clearing areas, but you want to cut grass and have it look decent at the same time? Well, here comes the flail mower. As you can see, it's more robust. There's more to it than like a bush hog. Um, it's a lot thicker, it's a lot heavier. It's closer to the tractor. There's other features about it I'll talk about, but a flail mower is exactly that. It has tiny little flail pieces underneath. So if we kind of crouch down here and look, you've got these flailing blades. They're sharp, just like a finish mower. Um, they're very sharp. They're designed to be sharp because this will do multiple things. It's going to let you cut grass. And because of this roller here on the back, this heavy roller, it's actually gonna stripe very well as well. So just like a finish mower, you're gonna get that fine cut on the grass. You're gonna get that nice stripe look. Um, and here's the nice thing. This can cut up to two to three inch thick material. I'm talking thick stuff with it. Now with these, what they're called Y blades, you can see how they were like that. There you have this wide blade. Um, this is better for that fine material, that uh, those briars, that uh, small grass. Um, I went on vacation for two months and let my grass grow really high and I'm gonna come back and cut it through. And because these, uh, all these little blades have um, their own separate pieces, their own moving pieces, it chops it up pretty fine as well. Now it's not gonna leave quite as pretty of a cut as a finish mower because there's no suction to it. There's no baffling cutting it at the base. It's just slicing through. But that thicker grass, that heavier grass, it's gonna do a very good job on as well as that thicker material. So again, it's kind of like a bush hog. Um, it's a lot more expensive than a bush hog, which is why it's not so popular. 
Um, there's nothing against a flail mower. I prefer one over a bush hog. And you can get what's called hammer knives for it. And uh, Leah might put a little picture of a hammer knife up in the top corner so you can see the difference between that and a Y blade. Um, but a hammer knife can do even thicker material. Um, so that hammer knife is very dull, kind of like a bush hog blade. And it's thicker and wider. And it's just going to smack whatever you're hitting. Um, and again, it's going to be better at that thick material. These blades are easy to replace. It's just one bolt to replace them, but it's a lot more to replace. All right, you break a blade on a finish mower or a bush hog, you're replacing one blade. On this, if you have to do blades, you're talking about 40, 50 different blades on here. There's a lot of expense to this flail mower. Not only do you have all the different blades, you've got the rollers, you've got the giant gearbox and drive lines. There's different brands out there. This is a Land Pride. I also sell the Ironcraft flail mowers and some other brands speak on everything. Um, but let's say, example, this bush hog right now is about $2,800. This finish mower is probably close to $4,000 these days now. And this baby, I think, was about $9,000 for Land Pride. There are cheaper options, but Land Pride builds their stuff very, very well. Um, but you need to have that application to cut all sorts of different materials. That thin stuff, that thick stuff, but you want to keep it pretty, um, your yard. You don't want to, with a bush hog, it's just going to throw long pieces, long strands of wood and sapling everywhere. There's no pretty finish to it. So some of the other nice things about a flail mower is the actual weight of it. It is a very heavy implement with all the stuff to it. So it's very good counterbalanced for your tractor. Um, so, you know, if you just keep it on the back of your tractor and you're picking up stuff with the loader, it is nice to use as a counterbalance. It doesn't stick out as far. You can see it's almost in line with this finish mower. Yet the tractor itself is all the way back here compared to this tractor's here. So you have a five foot finish mower sticking off the back, whereas you might only have a three foot flail mower. So it's more compact. You can back into those tight areas, into fence rows and everything a little bit easier as well. Kind of like the bush hog, but again, the bush hog is probably six, seven foot total length back off of it. It's unwieldy in those tight areas. Um, on hills and slopes, this is going to handle a little bit better simply because it just doesn't have that single tail wheel. It's got that roller it's going to be going on. And again, you have it in this tighter frame, this uh, closer to the tractor. So plenty of pros to each of these, depending on what you're doing on. Again, your bush hog is your most simple, basic, heavy duty cutter for those pastures, those fields, those acres you're clearing. Get a finish mower if you don't have a zero turn. Honestly, most of the time I recommend leave a, leave a finish mower off the back of the tractor, buy a zero turn, you're going to be so much happier. Or get a flail mower if you're doing those in-between things. You're cutting a couple of times a year, you want that pretty cut, and you've got that variety of material cutting. So a um, couple more things on the flail mower real quick because they're a little bit more complex. You usually have these slots here that you can slide in um, what's called, I think they're called breaker bars, I'm not sure. It kind of breaks up that material, provides some extra um, finishing to it. Um, and you also have, if you come in or closer here, you can see on the hitch points, you have different widths you can put it at or you can offset it. Um, so you could actually hook this arm here and the other tractor arm somewhere else. There's, there's oftentimes slide shifts or shifting motions you can do to offset this finish mower even more to get into those tight areas or down like a bank um, or underneath the fence line. So it kind of sticks over on one side of the tractor compared to the other so you can get along those tight fence rows without trying to hit your tire or your cab on it. So pros there to a flail mower, but again, more maintenance, more upfront and more continual cost. So that's your differences. Of course, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to try to answer.